Okay. All right. So let me just briefly um, apply this idea to um, shock waves. Okay. So let's take our minds back for a moment to uh, Invis and Berger's equation, method of characteristics. You um, can generate a method of characteristic solution to some of these nonlinear wave propagation problems. Characteristics cross at some point. What happens there? You have a shock wave. What did we do before? We, we said, well, our, our sort of classical solution that we get from method of characteristics is out now. We, we don't know what happens beyond that, okay? In the realm of distributions, we can now say something about how that um, shock should uh, propagate forward. And these shock waves are distributional solutions to our PDE here. Okay, so let's take the following nonlinear PDE, okay? u sub t plus f of u sub x, okay? And we can write it in the sense of distributions, kind of anticipating that we may end up with a, with a shock, okay? And that's gonna be given by um, u um, sub t, um, integrated against phi plus f of u sub x integrated against phi. Um, but we can, so that's equal to zero, right? But we can transfer these derivatives over, right? So our, our space here, right, that we're defined over is going to be um, r2, right? So where our, 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 our R2 is going to be in space and time, right? So we just extend time out to minus infinity and positive infinity in order to fit into the framework that we had before. So I can transfer these derivatives over and I get the following, okay? I would have a minus sign up front, but they both have minus signs, okay? So now I can write this just as the following distributional equation, okay? Now, let's say that we solve this problem and we end up with uh, a, a solution that has a jump discontinuity, okay? So I'll, so I'll skip over, you know, going through a, a specific example, okay? But let's just say, you know, we end up with a solution that has some um, jump discontinuity, okay? And so in that case, we have uh, u minus will be the value um, to the left of the kind of main characteristic of the interface and u plus will be the value um, greater than that interface, right? And, um, and so, it might look like this, right? So we have, u minus here and u plus here, okay? And uh, s is the unknown speed, right? So this is our interface here and it's propagating forward or backward potentially at some speed s, okay? Well then uh, f of u is going to be equal to f of u of minus for x is less than st and f of u plus for x is greater than st okay so if we rewrite this using the heavy side distribution okay we can start to port some of these ideas over from the theory of distributions that we just set up Okay, so u of xt, we can write that as 
u plus minus u minus h of x minus st plus u minus, okay? And uh, f of u is also a function of xt, right? Is equal to f of u plus minus f of u minus times the heavy side distribution at x minus st plus um, f of u minus here, okay? So, okay, so we're, we're getting somewhere, okay? So how do I compute um, these, these different uh, quantities now that I have in the um, in the in the PDE that I've written up here, right? We can uh, we can sort of uh, differentiate these uh, now using the chain rule, okay? Uh, but it's going to be kind of in the sense of distribution. So we're we're being a little bit loose here about what we mean by differentiations. But just for sort of bookkeeping, let me write out what the derivatives would be for u sub t and and f of u sub x, okay? All right, so thus, right, I can write u sub t is going to be equal to this leading factor here, which is just a constant, h prime of x minus st times minus s, and f of u sub x is equal to f of u plus minus f of u minus h prime of x minus st, because chain rule on this, I, I just have an x there on the inside, okay? So that means that my distributional equation now, I'll write it in its original form, f of u sub x phi, okay? I can write this um, as the following, right? I can write it as, um, minus s h prime x minus s t um, times u plus minus u minus acting on a test function plus f of u um, plus minus f of u minus this whole thing Acting on a or eight, sorry, h plus h prime x minus st phi here. Okay, so if I if I integrate against this, right, the the operative distribution is the de derivative of the heavy side, which we know is the delta, right? It's just the delta distribution. So everything else here is just kind of a constant. Okay, that's along for the ride, right? S is actually a constant. U plus and U minus are constants. F of U plus and F of U minus are constants, right? This is the distribution that's actually doing the, the work here, right? So we end up with minus S U plus minus U minus plus F of U plus minus F of U minus um, phi of st. And we say that this equals zero, right? And so what did we use here, right? We use that um, h prime is equal to um, delta, okay? The derivative of the heavy side is just the delta distribution, okay? So now what we have is that um, if, if this is true for any, um, phi that lives in D, okay? What this tells us is that minus S U plus minus U minus plus F of U plus minus F of U minus is equal to zero, okay? And this equation actually has a special name for shocks of nonlinear waves. It is the Rankine Fusiono condition. And it links the profile of the shock wave to its speed. Okay. 
and it applies to um, you know essentially any nonlinear wave equation of this of this form. So we have that s is equal to f of u plus minus f of u minus divided by u plus minus u minus. Okay. So it relates the shock speed to the shock jump. Okay. So actually the, the higher the, the jump is here, depending on what the um, nonlinearity F looks like, okay, you can have different relationships between the height of the jump and the resulting speed of the wave that, that you get. It all, it all depends on, you know, how saturating or, you know, super exponential or something like that, that this nonlinearity is. Okay, so we can really apply this uh, idea of, of distributions now uh, directly into well some PDs that we've seen in the past, and also um, it'll it'll be useful for these Green's function solutions, um, as especially equations like Laplace's equation. All right, questions about this? All right, yeah, I know we're we're reaching way back to method of characteristics. Some people sort of pull this idea in at the point that they're teaching method of characteristics, I'm just sort of following the, the pedagogy of, of Shear and Levy on this. Um, if, you, if you look, I think on, 